Sally and I'm going to show you how to make traditional fairy cakes. These are the ingredients you're going to need. I like to use a wooden spoon when I make fairy cakes because I actually think that the mixture becomes much lighter but if you haven't got time you can do this all in the processor or use an electric mixer. I've creamed the butter, I'm going to add in the sugar vanilla extract and just some of the egg. I'm just going to add a little egg at a time. Keep beating. If the mixture starts to curdle and that means it has a slight separation, add a little bit of flour. Carry on adding the egg with a little flour and then you can sift in the rest and fold that in at the end. So there we go, the mixture is lovely and creamy. It's got a really good dropping consistency and I'm going to spoon it into the cases. The cakes have baked, I've cooled them on a wire rack and now it's time to get into the fun bit of making them into traditional fairy cakes. I've made up some icing, rather a bright lemony butter icing and a pink one, and that's just a regular flavour, but just a pink colour. So take your bun, and using a serrated knife, just tilt the bun and then cut through, taking off the dome. And there you have it like that. Cut this in half and leave it to one side whilst you top with your buttercream. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the lemon Spoon it on one side and then I'm going to take some of the pink and pop that on the other side, like so. Turn it round and then take a little bit of icing sugar and dust it over. So there you go, really straightforward traditional fairy cakes. You can decorate them in any way you like. So why don't you let us know how you get on with your fairy cakes and leave a comment in the box.